Yo guys, what's good? So today I've got actually a pretty interesting video and one I've been wanting to test for a while because one thing I like to do is I like my plastic protectants and I like making things restored and looking new, but I also want it to be safe. And so for the longest time, I had thought that using 303, which is a water-based plastic protectant on floor mats, wouldn't be slippery. And then when I did use it, it was a little bit slippery. So I wasn't sure if that was normal or not. And then also using a silicone-based plastic protectant is going to be slippery guaranteed. So you don't wanna use that on things like your floor mats and wheels, or not wheels, um, your steering wheel. I finally got a product that's meant for, um, meant for that non-greasiness. And what I have is Cochemi Gummy Fix. And this is something I've been wanting to get for a while, but the reason I didn't get it was because it's really hard to tell what chemicals are doing and what they aren't doing. And so I didn't think I needed a specific chemical for floor mats only, but they label it as something that's just interior plastic care. So you could really use this all over your car's interior and get good results from what it's sounding like. And it's non-slip. I really want to see between you know 303 Car Pro Pearl and Kachemi Gummy Fix, is there really any difference in the slipping slipperiness? I already know that Pearl is pretty slippery, but I wanted to see really between 303 and the Kachemi if there is much of a difference. And if there isn't, then that's a good thing because that means you can buy either one of them without much worry. And if there is a big difference. Well then get yourself whatever one's better. I'm gonna, what I have here is a bunch of bi-plastic floor mats. They're all pretty clean, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna APC them and wash them off for any, for any, I'm gonna get off any of that existing protection. So I have a nice clean slate to work with. I'm gonna let them dry. And then we're gonna apply each of these and test them out in my car to see if there's really any difference in the slipperiness when you're actually in the car or not. And also we're just gonna like give it like a general feel. So. We're gonna compare the three and give you guys some conclusive results because when I was trying to figure out, you know, what types of plastic protectants are non-slippery, I had a really hard time actually trying to find anything. So I'm hoping I can help you guys by giving you a straightforward answer with three different ones, um, which should be a good enough selection for you to really understand, you know, is this product going to be good for my application or not? And for those of you who just want the answer, I'll give you uh, a little link. Here, let me do it right now. For those of you who don't have the patience or don't want to watch the whole video, you can skip right to um, this time. <laughs> and uh, we'll have the answers there, um, comparing the different chemicals and stuff like that. Once we get all the results, we'll kind of go over what the use case is, is for each type of plastic protectant, if, they're, if they are much different. So I'm just gonna get right into it. We'll start with cleaning the mats and uh, I'll bring you guys along for the ride. So. Just like I said, gonna scrub them down with some APC, even though they aren't dirty, just to get that ex existing plastic protectant off, if there is any. We have four floor mats, so what the plan is, we have one for silicone, one for the gummy fix, one for the water-based, and then one without any. So we can kind of get a uh, variety within our test to see what the difference is between each one, see how they affect from the normal, and all that kind of stuff. All right, got a little bit of splash in my car. Uh. I'm gonna have to let them dry a little bit still, but the leaf blower definitely did help to get some of that off. And you can see there's not much of that plastic protection left because a lot of the water is pooling. And that just means that there's nothing to kind of um, spot the water similar to a ceramic coat. That's kind of what those plastic protectants do. And you can kind of see it on this back floor mat. There's some of it um, near the edges and corners, but nothing near the, the center. So there's definitely still some plastic protectant on these, but my driver's side one is basically nuked. Passenger's fine. I, I use the driver's side the most, so it kind of makes sense why that one is kind of destroyed. I'm gonna give these roughly some time to dry. Don't know how long, but I'm just gonna give them some time. Okay, so I've got all of the floor mats dried while you guys were goofing around. I've got an assignment on each. So gummy fix I'm doing on the driver's side, um, just because you know it's the safest and I want something that I know should work well on my driver's side. And I have used the water dressing on my driver's side before and I had pretty good success with it. So we'll just see if this is even better or not. Silicone dressing will go on the passenger side and then in my rear, whatever side this is, I don't know which one off the top of my head, somewhere in the rear, there's gonna be one with water dressing. And then we have one without any dressing at all. This is my control. You know, there's a bit of slip, but not much. I quite like how this feels. It feels very grippy. 
Like if I put my shoe on it, it's gonna stick. And I will also test it inside the car as well so we can get a more you know, usable scenario test or whatever, more realistic tests. So to use all, each of these, it's just a spray bottle. Just spray some on, and I'm gonna do the same amount of sprays for each panel, even though that doesn't make sense. Actually, oh shoot. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just gonna try and do a similar coverage. These look to be, the passenger and driver side look to be about double the size of these rear passenger. I'm gonna do about double on these two. So something that's cool, that kind of validates me a little bit, makes me feel kind of good, is it does say it's non-greasy, the gummy fix is silicon oil free, which is silicone oxide based, which means that it's going to be a little bit greasier and slipperier. The silicone oil is great at protecting, but it does cause some slip, so I haven't been spewing. Guys, just so you know. All these look pretty good right now. They're a tiny bit faded, and you know, the, past, the rear ones don't even look like they've been used. I do drive people, but it's just, you know. Forget about it, man. So it says you can apply this stuff. I don't know if it was any different, but it says you can also apply it with a sponge or a spray bottle, which I like the spray bottle method. What the same hell is this? It comes with some weird nibble on the top. Oh. Comes with a weird pop top. Probably you can just squeeze it, use it like a squeeze bottle maybe, I don't know. Now I do have some new spray bottles, but uh, don't want to spoil that surprise for you guys yet. Well, oh, this stuff smells incredible, I think. I don't know what I was smelling. Believe it or not, these are actually the Timu towels. So I still like these low GSM Timu towels. Actually pretty nice. Okay, so we got one, two, three, seven. Okay, that, that sprayer sucks. Never using that thing again. I'm, I'm pouring that in a different bottle straight up. Okay guys, I, I can't even count anymore. These sprayers are being so inconsistent right now. Okay, gummy smex smells like alcohol. Okay, I don't think I put nearly enough on. Ah, I'm gonna add some more. You know, screw the amount thing. We're just, we're just going ham. I'm just gonna make sure there's enough on it. It smells very alcoholy. I don't know what I was talking about with the good smell thing. Clearly not the case. <laughs> Wow, that is a strong smell. So it doesn't look that much different. It doesn't seem to restore quite as well as the silicone. If it's non-slip, that's more of what I want. Well, the passengers can have a fun time. <laughs> yeah, so the 303D definitely seems to spread the best. The silicone has the most restorative properties, it looks like. But this thing looks brand new. The Gummy Fix, it did a Change the appearance a little bit, but not much. So let me get these in the sun so you guys can kind of see what they look like. And don't worry, I'm remembering where each one of them is. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a hand test on each one of them, kind of see how they feel and uh, if there's much of a difference. The Gummy Fix is the one that I use the most. This is the driver's side. And so it is also the one that's most worn out. The Gummy Fix didn't do much to renew the appearance compared to the other ones. And it feels pretty good. And, um, I don't know, I mean, it just feels good. It feels a little bit more slippery than the control did. So the Gummy Fix does definitely have some slip to it. It's not a whole lot, and it'll probably fade out pretty quickly, like, you know, once I install them and use them. It's not like a slipperiness where I feel like I'd die if I used it. Pearl, this one's definitely a lot more slippery. Let me get them side by side. Yeah, there's definitely a big difference in the slipperiness. Gummy Fix is a lot more secure. I don't know if that's enough slipperiness to really cause you to die. And we'll try it inside the car on my floor mats. And the Pearl, by the way, it's diluted five to one. It's like more of an interior dilution ratio. It's pretty light and that'll help to reduce the slipperiness as well. 303, eh, it's honestly pretty similar to the Pearl, maybe a little bit less slippery. Yeah, it's slightly less slippery than the Pearl, but not by much. I mean, I would just like to say they're the same. Compared to the control, yeah, that's solid as hell. We are going to put them in the car, and I'm just going to sit in and see kind of how slippery it is with just some normal shoes on. Okay, so the first test is we're going to do the driver's side with the gummy fix. You know, I don't really know how to test this, but um, 
there is a fair bit of slip going on, but once you get like your feet on the pedals and stuff, you'll be fine. You know, these aren't exactly the most grippy shoes. As you can see, it's pretty flat on the back. So when I get it on the back, it just kind of slips around. We're gonna try the pearl side now. All right, yeah, getting out's a little bit better. So I'm on the pearl side, getting in no problem. It actually is a bit more slippier on the back. So there definitely is a difference there. This is a little weird just having you guys watch my feet. Like it's definitely a little more slippery. Like if I'm flat, it's not bad. So getting in and out shouldn't be a problem. Although there is some, you know, slipperiness. It's not like enough to really kill you. Get out, whoa! So this is the control one. It says no flip factor. This is a little harder to test. So I want to try getting the back of my, oh wow, okay. That's way different. Yeah, so it seems like the gummy fix, it does add enough slipperiness to make it so my shoe doesn't cling at all because when I go like this with the mat with no protectant on it, it's really solid actually. And it feels really quite good without any slip factor. feels really nice. This one is the 303. feels pretty good on the flat. And if we go to the side, yeah, it's about as slippery as the Pearl was. Um, you know, not much different there. It seems like no matter what kind of plastic protectant you use, it's going to be slippery to some degree compared to just a normal mat, at least in a practical sense. After running these tests, it's pretty obvious that to me, uh, like from a practical application, all three of these chemicals have some slipperiness to them. You could get gummy fix, but if you're gonna use a plastic protectant, you would be fine using any three of them. They all have about the same slipperiness to them. I will say though that getting in and out of the car with the gummy fix was substantially easier. Um, was it the easiest? No. The control mat with no plastic protectant was definitely the easiest by far and it stuck no matter what angle my shoe was at, which is what I would probably want um, if my grandma was coming in the car. Plastic protectants, they do have some inherent risk to them. No matter what type you get, this says non-slip, but it clearly has some slip to it compared to not doing anything. It does say to apply it. It was plenty dry by the time I tested it. So if I go back with it, and it's maybe a little bit drier, but wait, that was the pearl one. I actually felt quite fantastic. I don't know, maybe this plastic protectant just gets kind of nuked after five minutes of rubbing your feet on it. So yeah, there's really not a big difference. If you do want to apply plastic protectant to your floor mats, I'd still probably just recommend doing gummy fix because it says it's non-slip. If you're okay with a little more risk and you're not so worried about it, you could either use this 303 plastic protectant or you could dilute Pearl 5 to 1 and get similar results to me where you know you might have some slip but it's not going to be terrible. And also with the Pearl, you could dilute it even more if you want, maybe even less slip than I got. Shouldn't be too concerned about what you're using on your floor mats. They're all going to yield similar results. Um, I will say though that the Pearl and the 303 did a lot better at actually restoring the plastic. I used the gummy fix on my most destroyed mat so far. This is the one I use every time because I'm driving my own car. Come on. Like, trust me guys, I've done this a million times. I know what's up. Which one should you use when? And why should you get each one? The silicone or Pearl, I really like this a lot because it's dilutable. And so you can use it for things like your wheels. You can also use it for your leathers, your plastics, and you can also use it for your floor mats. And I wouldn't recommend doing steering wheel, but you could if you wanted to. The thing about Pearl though, is that you need to know what kind of dilution ratio you want to get the result that you want. So a higher dilution ratio is gonna be less slippery, but also not as protected. So when, you know, when they say to use pearl on wheels, they say to use it undiluted because it's the strongest concentration. Whereas when you're using an interior, I believe they recommend one to five, which is what I have here. And it also works well, maybe a little bit too well um, on the floor mats. So it does cause a little bit of slipperiness, but um, just dilute it a little bit, a hair more, maybe like half as much, so one to 10, and you should be fine. It's not quite half, but, um, you know, it's some kind of percent really close to that. So for the 303, this would be, this is ready to use and it was a little less slippery than the Pearl, but it's pretty comparable, I would say, in terms of how slippery it was in actuality. So you can use the 303 really in the same way you can use Pearl. They do, sometimes you would read that, you know, 303 is non-slippery. It definitely is slippery. So don't take that for a word of grain. Don't grain for a salt on that, what they said. 
okay, you know what, you know what I'm trying to say. Just don't take it for a grain of salt what they say about it. It's slippery, okay? It's more of a general use application, so I wouldn't use th this on like wheels probably. So I would probably just go back to Pearl and just use my dilution ratios. I like diluting stuff, but if you don't, 303 would be a good option for you because it comes ready to use. The last one is the gummy fix, and this is you know a non-slippery formula. It definitely was smelling the worst. Well, this stuff smells incredible. It definitely was the least slippery out of the three, for sure. That's without a doubt. It definitely does have some slip to it though, even though it's not much, it, there is some. It also didn't restore the look of the plastic as much as I had hoped. You could use Gummy Fix for things that you aren't gonna be seeing that much or get dirty really fast like your floor mats. And it'll do a good job, but just know that it's not gonna do as good of a job as some of these other chemicals could. Would I recommend Gummy Fix? Uh, specifically, no, but if you, you know, if there is liability, like if you're doing a customer's car, it might just be safe to go with it because you know it's going to have a certain effect on the floor mats. Um, whereas, you know, maybe you mess up the pearl dilution and you got someone slip sliding, slip sliding the slip. So we did a hand test. We did a foot test. There's definitely differences between them. And that's good for me because I always thought maybe... What the? Guys, this ever happened to you? Spray bottle just randomly starts dripping everywhere. I think it's because of the temperature or something. I mean, this stuff looks cool, it's kind of blue. I guess that's kind of, you know, the benefit of that silicon oil is that it does a really good job restoring the... What was that guy? Restoring up the uh, plastics looks. Guys, hope you enjoyed this test and found it informative. And, you know, one bucket army. to do some guys I don't know I hope you guys found this pretty useful buckets out I really gotta get a new intro or outro I mean and intro I guess I don't know